Nah, man, let's let's get right into it, man. Um, uh, very sad story out of Kalamazoo, Michigan. Um, little guy by the name of Lil Sticks. Uh, we're not gonna say his government, but um, he was shot and killed yesterday. It turns out that uh, it was the rapper Bandman Kevo's 15 year old son. Um, and to be honest, like people, that's actually how they found out he died because. Kevo was like posting online, posting on the internet, like trying to get in touch with his moms. Um, to be honest, man, a lot of people were surprised to even know that Batman Kevo had a 15 year old son that lived in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Um, you know, it seemed like he kind of left his son in the trenches, man. Like a lot of people was basically saying, like, look, bro, like you supposed to be this you know, rich rapper. I said, we see you in Miami, we see you getting body surgery. Why your son in the hood still, <laughs> still hustling? You know what I'm saying? Man, I seen it last night. I, I kind of thought when I first seen him post, I ain't going to lie, man. The first thing that ran through my head was, why is this the first time we hearing about this son of yours? Right, so, right. He, like, he should have been with you all the time. You would have thought. You know what I'm saying? With all that money, I mean, because, I mean, you a father, I'm a father. And typically, dads that are involved in their kid's life consistently, they are either with their kids all the time they see them they post them something but for him to be out this long and you don't hear nothing about this boy it just struck me as odd like like what is the real motive now you know what i mean like right it's a sad situation and the easter easter sunday of all time though honestly i think maybe the mom didn't want him around him or possibly uh he he might not have wanted to be around him like that i mean van man been in the in the in the media headlines for some wild stuff and you got to think from a mother's perspective you know yeah it's, it's right for the man to raise their son and, and only a man can teach a man how to be a man but sometimes the mom got to do their job and protect them so honestly there might be some stuff going on we don't know about that's you know? true no 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 now that you say that that's true man i mean you know a lot of baby mamas bro they be real funny acting with the kids when the shit don't work out with them you know what i'm saying right and what i will say is that it seemed like that's why Bandman was posted online. We're going to get to what he posted in a minute, but it seemed like originally that's why he was posted online because he couldn't get in contact uh, with his son's mom. And I bet it seemed like he heard like through the great van, through the streets or whatever, what happened. He didn't even hear this from, you know, his, his, his baby mama. So it seemed like he was trying to get in contact with her. The other thing I, the other thing I noticed in this story, like I said, I don't want to really dig too deep in this story, man. People know, you know, we got a history at Street Certified News uh, with stories on Bandman Kevo. So we want to put that out there. Just be transparent. You know what I'm saying? We have called him an informant, a rat, all that stuff in the past. If you want to go look at them stories, you can. You know, we stand by it. But this is not really about that. Um, like I said, condolences to Lil Sticks, um, Bandman Kevo's son. Condolences. Yeah, condolences first and foremost, man. Like I said, bro, we don't want none of our young soldiers um, leaving before they supposed to. You know, we all should be dying at old age. That's how I believe. No matter no matter if you're a little savage or not. You know what I'm saying? Because the other thing people are saying is like, why did this dude, Batman Kevo, post his son in savage mode with guns and throwing up gang signs? Like... It seemed like I don't. I mean, I'm just gonna put it out there, but it seemed like either Bandman approved of his son living that type of lifestyle, which is crazy, or he was straight up trying to like clout chase off of the fact that my son died. I'm sad about it, but shit, let me go ahead and throw these pictures yeah. out there and see if I could go viral. That's kind of how it came off, to be honest. Distasteful. Yeah, now it definitely was distasteful. And then it's like you putting your son in the light of a, a killer and somebody just killed him. So it's like you really giving a killer self-defense. Like, look, his daddy posted him with guns and shit. What, what you think I'm supposed to do when I run into him in the street? To me, to me, that kind of just showed like he don't. It just seemed, it, the pictures he posted to me kind, kind of stood out to be like, uh, you really don't know much about your son so you just rushed to the internet to post what you had in your phone because you probably didn't have no other pictures in your phone that could could make him uh look better so you posted i could see that but i mean why see. you got pictures of, i mean i could i could see what you're saying like honestly maybe you probably got them pictures off the internet off the instagram right so yeah. he basically don't got no pictures of his son 
And when his son died, he trying to get the word out. He running his son Instagram. All it is is this nigga with 30s throwing up gang signs. So he he's forced to use that to, because them the only pictures yeah. he got. That's, that could be it. That could be it. But yeah. I just, I personally think as a father, um, if something ever happened to my son, first off, I don't got to post it on the internet. Um, if I need to get in contact with his mom, I'm going to use real life channels. Like, I feel like people is using the internet for a crush these days. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know it happened with Boosie a few times. And they, instead of making phone calls, instead of doing real shit, we get on the internet and start asking strangers for help. And, like, I understand, like, where it's going. But, I mean, I just think when your son passed, bro, you don't got to do that, man. Get in touch with you. What's up, bro? Come in, man. See this shit? This this what I'm talking about right here. Bro. You know what I'm talking about right here? Look at this shit. See what I'm talking about right here? This little nigga stick with me, bro. Every day, niggas nigga with me. I walk him to school. I walk him home. You know what I'm saying? Where where Thanks. I go is where he go. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't no, Thanks. like, that wasn't like no, come on, bro. That was like on some real shit. That's weird. That, that's weird that that happened right there. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it just that nigga be with me, though, man. It just so that's show. why a lot and, and a lot of people. I'm not the only father that that be close with their son like that or close with their kids. So a lot of people when they saw that shit, they like, bro, you posting guns and you can't find the mama and your son in the hood. I mean, let's like, be honest. What's up? Let's be honest, bro. Not nine times out of ten, a real grieving father, mother, whatever, is the first thing in today's mind is not going to be run to the internet. The first thing is going to be grieving. It's going to be crying. When you right, it's going to be, be grieving, quiet. I don't want to talk to nobody you're not, you're right now. You're not going to the internet. You're not going. Yeah, exactly. You ain't trying to talk to nobody. You ain't going to the internet. You ain't doing none of that weirdo stuff because to me, I call that just attention seeking. You attention seeking at its finest. Like you just want some attention. You want somebody to cry with you. You want a shoulder to lean on. It's too late for that, bro. Like your son rest in peace but it sound like to me you know he talked talked about you a lot but for him to talk about you like that and you have no connection to him up leading up to his death is very strange to me man <laughs>